Hi guys, welcome back to Twisted Locker, your definitive horror podcast. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We've got a Valentine's Day special. How sweet. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> right, yep. so we're just going to have one pick each. We're just going to talk about some of the greatest romances in horror. Starting with you, Jenks, what have you got for me? Okay, so there's loads of good ones, but I got one recommendation, yeah. Uh, and it's a classic. It's based on a 2010 book by Isaac Maron. It's called Warm Bodies. Uh, it is basically, in a nutshell, Romeo and Juliet with zombies. Uh, so you've got this uh, zombie called R, ah, played by uh, Nicholas Holt. Uh, Holt, and he's a zombie. You're hearing, you're, you're hearing his uh, from his perspective. So you're hearing his thoughts, a bit like the book. And uh, he's kind of like human in his thoughts, but he's talking about how it's like to be a zombie, being hungry, all this. And you've got these, uh, you've got these sort of kind of evil zombies called bonies that are so skinny that they become these like some more animalistic zombies, uh, and they're quite aggressive and fast. Um, and he falls in love with a human uh, called Julia, or Ju- uh, sorry, Ju- uh, Julie played by uh, Teresa Palmer. And it's very much on the nose with Romeo and Julia. So he, his name is R, and she's called uh, Julie. Um, they fall in love. The more in love he becomes, no spoiler, this is kind of in the in the trailer, um, the more human he's becoming. And you're realising then that the zombies, um, they're capable of reverting back into humanity. And then the real threat becomes these bonies, these sort of... They're a bit CGI, fast moving, skinny zombies. Yeah. Somehow, when they're skinnier they are, the faster they are, but fuck knows how that is. But it is a good <laughs> film, it's got a great soundtrack. Uh, it's a very good book because I've read the book and I've read his prequel. Um, I forget what the prequel's called now, but he's, I think he's done a couple of other books, but I haven't read that because yeah. it's not really a story that should be expanded. It's about a, a zombie quirky love story. So a perfect film to watch with your missus. If she hates horror, and but she loves Romeo and Juliet and all that shit, uh, she's going to fucking love Warm Bodies. And I give Warm Bodies four stars. It's a good film. Nice. What do you got? Good What's your recommendation um, for your missus? Right. I have got the best love story in cinema history. Treat trash. <laughs> Street trash. <laughs> Homeless people and whiskey. The greatest love story in the world. Is it the uh, hobo um, with a shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's hobo and his shotgun. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, Mr. Pedantic. I didn't realise. Yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> no, it was it was a play on Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> Spaghetti dogs. <laughs> Spaghetti dogs. Right, I'm probably going to cut that bit out when I'm editing the Come podcast on. because that went right you, over your head pick. then. Say your pick. Right, right. My pick, the greatest love story in cinema history, recognised <laughs> by everyone in the world. I'm going to go <laughs> for the beautiful and magnificent Bride of Chucky. Like I said, one of the greatest love stories of all time. You've got the, you've got the iconic Chucky finally finding love and how beautiful it is when it blossoms. Nobody makes Swedish meatballs like you, babe. Peachy. Thanks, honey bun. Um, Stop saying fucking beautiful so much. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day, right? It's, it's disturbing. It's a fucking horror channel. It's not disturbing. It's not. <laughs> oh, you missed a ghost, top ghost film. Right. Bride of Chucky, right? I've actually just recently rewatched all the child's plays. And growing up, I wasn't a massive fan of Bride of Chucky. I loved Child's Play 1 to 3. And I just rewatched them, right? And Bride of Chucky is fucking awesome. I loved it. It's it's just on the border of being too silly where C.D. Chucky took it. I actually really enjoyed it. It's well made. It's got great kills. A little bit silly in times. But mainly, it's a love story. Above everything else, right? It's a love story about two people connecting. <laughs> So the basis of the plot is... People! They're not Ch- fucking people! <laughs> <laughs> they were people, all right? That's that's nasty. Right. <laughs> they were okay. people, right? 
So the base of the story is uh, you got you got Tiffany played by Jennifer Tilly. Um, she she's got um, a previous with Charles Lee Ray before he was Chucky. So she decides to bring the doll back to life and rekindle their romance. Doesn't go quite as planned because because Charles Lee Ray Chucky is an absolute psychopath, and lo and behold. He kills her and puts her in a Tiffany doll. I don't know if the doll was called Tiffany, but he puts her in a doll. And then the love starts. Um, I actually really enjoyed this film. And honestly, even when I was young, I just didn't enjoy it. I was too much of a fan of the originals. And when you look at Child's Play 1 to 3, didn't like Child's Play 3 on rewatch, but they're proper horror films. I know you're going to laugh at me. They are a bit silly. It's about a killer doll. But they're genuinely really good horror films. Chucky's Chucky's in the shadows. You hardly see him, and with his disadvantages, he actually he ha- what's the what's the word I'm going for? I, forget that. I, I'll cut that out. I'm going too much into child's play history now. Oh, keep it in. People want to hear how shit this fucking film is. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only person in the world, right, that hates child's play. I'm telling you, there's a reason. There's seven films, all right. There's a reason. Yeah, they just could anyway, not get it fucking right. But anyway, that's my pick for the greatest Valentine's Day movie. If you're with your loved ones tonight and you want something nice and sweet to watch, don't bother with warm bodies. It's trash. Get Bride of Chucky on, and I got a yeah. feeling you might get lucky tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair play. <laughs> There we are then, guys. That's all we've got time for today. Just remember, if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And we hope you have a great, great night. Happy Valentine's Day. (laughs) (laughs) You had me at hello.